Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the reasons why you should go to film school. One of the main debates out there is should you or should you not go to film school? And I think it's kind of silly. Just do whatever feels right for you, right? There's pros and cons to everything. So just kind of evaluate it for yourself. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I decided to go to film school and why I think this is a great way for beginner filmmakers to advance to the next level. So currently I am studying at the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts and I just finished my first year there. The experience have been extraordinary. I'll be talking about that later on in the video. Reason number one I think you should go is obviously the education you get because at the end of the day, it is a school that's kind of the main purpose. Some of the stuff they have at these film schools are some of the top of the line industry standard equipment that it's really hard to get your hands on without going to these film schools without spending a lot of money, right? So these film schools, they would teach you how to operate some of these big lights, some of the sound equipment, and some of the stuff, honestly, you might not even be able to learn on YouTube right now. I had a class last semester, it was called CTPR 285, and it talks about some of the latest technologies in the film industry, and some of this stuff hasn't even come out yet. We had to use like the beta versions of it. It was like some advanced AI tools, it's really insane insane CGI stuff that it's really hard to learn about on YouTube. So obviously it's great to learn the technology. If you are just, just starting out, it's a great way to teach you the fundamentals of filmmaking, like how to write a script, how to light a scene, how to direct actors, how to edit, how to color, how to do sound, all that stuff will be taught to you. Even though it will be slow, like they won't teach you everything right away. They kind of take their time teaching you, but you do get these education on how to make a film. And everyone that I've seen graduate from USC Film School have tremendous pieces of art that they made in the program. It's just really cool to see how you know useful it was for them to bring their stuff into the next level. Next I want to talk about is how it can help you get a portfolio. You will be making tons and tons of different short films at these film schools. So it's a great way to build your portfolio without having to spend a ton of your own money. And also with these short films, you can submit it to festivals, win some big awards, get some nominations, and that can further your career even more. And I think the biggest thing with college is its ability to kind of give you a period of time where your sole purpose purpose is to learn about life. You're not trying to focus on working because you're gonna be working <laughs> forever afterwards. It gives you this last period in life where your sole focus is to broadening your perspective of the world. Film school could be terrible for you if you don't know how to utilize the program well. And just take, you know, other classes outside of film to learn about the things that interest you, the things that make you curious. It's a great way to making you yourself a more well-rounded person. Next thing I wanna be talking about is connections. Connections, without a doubt, is huge when it comes to film school. It's honestly kind of hard to do it without film school. I mean, it's definitely possible, but I guess if you're more introverted, right, it's definitely harder. If you're extroverted, it's probably easy, you know, whatever you do. But film school kind of gives you this really huge pool of very, very talented people, students, professors, faculty people, and you basically learn a lot from each other. You motivate each other to tell better stories. You get advice, feedback from your professors. There's also like these film festivals festival offices where there's people who will help you submit to film festivals. There's people who teach, you know, basically every aspect of filmmaking. So let's say, you know, you want to be a DP, right? There's cinematography professors that you can learn from. So the pool of resources, it's very vast. You just got to know how to use it well. And also the, the alumni networks, it's huge. I remember I had a friend who's working in the industry tell me that a ton of people get hired just based on where they went to film school. A lot of people, they like to hire within the alumni network, right? So that's super important to utilize. And you know, you can go to these events to meet a ton of alums and tons of other people for very great career opportunities. Super important when it comes to your filmmaking career. Next, I wanna talk about our experiences. You're gonna be developing super fast as a filmmaker at a film school. You're gonna be going on set a ton, right? Going on these semi-professional movie sets and you're gonna get an idea of how all the rules work, how everyone work with each other, how to set up a C-stand, sandbags, all that stuff. And you're gonna be learning so much about filmmaking and without it, it's definitely gonna 
be a little bit more challenging to go on these really high quality movie sets. And like disclaimer, right, you know, I, I didn't take the route of not going to film school, so I really didn't know what it was like. I didn't, but from my perspective at film school, I've been able to learn some of the most useful things when it comes to set life and like managing a movie set. Another thing you're going to get from going to film school is the life experience. I think going to college is super important. That's why a ton of parents, you know, make their kids go to college because this is like a huge period of your life, you know, it's just like high school or middle school. It's just a huge developmental period and like college is this period of your life where you're just going to be meeting so many new people and getting a fresh perspective of life and adulthood so super important to use this time to truly understand how the world works and i think this is super nice to have this grace period before you are thrown into society and this kind of ties in with my next point is you're going to be getting a lot of people experiences truly understanding how to socialize with people how to connect with people i mean i think that's what schools are for right to teach you social skills um and college is no different so super important to get that down because networking is huge when it comes to uh, filmmaking. Also, I want to talk about how you basically have freedom to make mistakes. You know, you don't have to be so stressed about making the perfect movie because it's okay to fail, right? It's okay to learn from your mistakes. So I think that's definitely another helpful thing to have when it comes to filmmaking. However, there are so many different film schools and film programs. If you can get into a top, top tier film school like USC, NYU, or Chapman, that's honestly really good for your career, I think. The alumni network, the connections you have, the stuff you learn at these institutions, super important. It's okay to go to another school first, right? Like if you wanna to go to a community college to get your general educations out of the way and then go to film school, that's cool too. If you wanna, let's say, just go to Harvard and not study film, you can still make it. I think every path you take, as long as you're really passionate about filmmaking, takes you back to filmmaking. So I don't want to really understand why people, you know, argue over whether you should go to film school or not. You just pick whatever you feel right. And my experiences so far in the first year of film school has been really amazing. I've been able to meet so many incredible people, work on so many incredible projects learn so much about what it's like to grow up and having this period of time to actually develop myself and build a solid foundation. It's super important in life to remember that you, know, you can never win by taking shortcuts. So do what is hard, right? Do what takes the most time because that's how you build a strong foundation for the, your future of filmmaking. If you've decided that you want to apply to film school, check out this video right here where I talk about how you can get into any film school or check out this video right here where I talk about how to survive film school. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.